So today we're going to be learning about how to create a profile diagram. Uh, very simply put, a profile diagram is the side view of a topographic map. And so what it does is it tells us what the shape of the land is. Okay. So what we're going to be using to take notes and to also um, learn about this is this worksheet here. So it says contour map worksheet number four. Now I stole this from a teacher uh, actually from New York City. Thank you internet. But anyways, um, we're going to call this uh, profile diagrams. Okay, and so what I want you guys to for sure have um, also is exactly what is a profile diagram. And so we'll kind of give our own little uh, Mr. Barron's Earth Science class definition, and we'll call a profile diagram the side view of a topographic map. Okay, and like I said, essentially, it's the side view. of a topo map. And again, remember, um, this helps us see what the landscape looks like. Okay. And so from there then, uh, we're, we're just going to go through some basic steps that I have highlighted for you guys um, using a PowerPoint. So let me get back to that for you guys. And so the first step, realistically, is to place base, uh, a, a piece of scrap paper on whatever line you want to create your profile diagram of. So step one, like was highlighted there, place scrap paper. on a B. That's this line here. Okay. Now by the way, this is how to profile. Okay. And so step one, like was said on that PowerPoint, here's a piece of scrap paper. We'll place it on line A B. Okay. Step two, let's take a look at once. Okay, so now every point that my piece of paper intersects with a contour line we make a mark and so we'll go back to our picture here and so every location that my scrap paper intersects with a contour for example point A point B I'm gonna add a mark at every spot these intersect through the magic of recording I actually completed this and so you guys can see there I have every single mark made again realize that step two mark scrap paper now we're ready to move on to step three and so step three is basically where we record the heights of each contour line where it intersects with my piece of scrap paper so we're gonna go back we're gonna take a look at this and again you can see that I have locations, okay, and also each contour line has a height associated with it. So the example that I'm going to give, this first line is 580, okay. Second line here, well, it looks like it's 560. And again, through the magic of digital recording, I finish this. So that was my third step. And again, remember, step three was record heights. Okay, so now let's go back and let's take a look at step four. So now I take this and actually I, I will graph it vertically on a um, axis, x, y axis. And so what we have here actually with our example, whoops, with our example is if you flip your page over, okay, we have all our heights recorded on this piece of paper. I have a scale for you created already. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this scale. Now I know I have AB here actually. It turns out it's been a little bit stretched by our Xerox machine. But there's A and there's B. And so I'm going to graph each and every one of these points. So for example, point A we said was 585. So I'm going to graph that at 
585. 580. And so each line, like I showed you guys, will get pulled up to this graph. And again, through some magic, I put the points up there for you. So you can see we have all these points plotted. Now we get to the last step. Okay. By the way, let's record what we just did here on the opposite side. So flip your sheet over. Step four was plot points on x, y axis, which is what we just did on that previous page. The last thing that we're going to do then, my favorite part, connect the dots. Turns out I'm pretty good at connecting the dots. So let's flip it over. And here are our dots again. All we really need to do here is connect them. Let me get a pencil. And so we use this pencil and connect these dots. And again, realize that the land isn't jagged. So we want to connect these dots in, in a slightly um, rounded fashion. And so if I were to walk now from point A to point B, I would be walking down a more gradual hill, hit a flat part, now this right here is where that river was again. Remember that. And then I'm going to walk up a pretty steep upslope. And so that's the profile diagram of that location on the map. Hopefully this process helps you understand how to create a profile diagram.